Music fans are mourning the loss of a pioneer in the industry tonight. Les Paul was an American jazz guitarist who helped create one of rock and roll's greatest instruments, the electric guitar. Tonight, he's being remembered for his work and his influence on all genres of music. Christina Tenalia has more. He's been called the father of the electric guitar. Les Paul revolutionized jazz, blues, and rock and roll by creating one of the first solid body electric guitars in 1939. In the 50s, Paul signed a contract with Gibson Guitar, a company who transformed his invention into what is now known as the Les Paul. At Mountain Music in Hamilton, Les Paul guitars grace the store walls. But he was definitely one of the first pioneers to take that clean cut sound and give it a bit of that sound that the youth wanted. Store manager Troy Vaz says the Les Paul is one of the most iconic guitars ever made. At one point or another, someone plays a Les Paul, right? And uh, whether they know where it comes from or not, the truth is, like, uh, his design and his influence has affected everyone at one point or another. Whether it's Led Zeppelin or even the guys that are playing hip-hop nowadays, they're, they all have been touched by Les Paul in some way or another. Les Paul has influenced the likes of Eric Clapton, Joe Perry, and Slash, but he's also appealed to the everyday rock and roller. My son is a guitar player, and he was very, he was very sad to hear that Les Paul had died. So when Bob Dylan started playing the electric guitar, that was quite, quite an upheaval. I think he's had a, a, a tremendous impact with the Les Paul and uh, the innovations that have come from that. Les Paul died in a New York hospital of pneumonia complications. He was 94. Nick, in 1988, Les Paul was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and in 2005, he was inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame for his work on the solid body electric guitar. Now, he's also known for pioneering the multi-track recording. That's where artists can record instruments separately and then mix them together on a single track. On top of that, he's known for pioneering overdubbing and tape delay effects, so quite a few accolades for him uh, there tonight. Nick, I'll send it back to you. Very talented artist and inventor indeed. Thanks a lot, Christina.